here there uh, in this lecture we are going to discuss on um, how to make API call in react native right the same process we'll use in react js and react native as well so let's get started so here in this we have two ways to make the API call one is xdos and another one is fetch right so इन दोनों का यूज़ हम कैसे करेंगे? Let's get started. So let I just show you the axios and fetch. <coughs> Sorry. So this is the axios npm and this is basically fetch. So I'm going to call or from npm. So what is the difference between the axios and fetch? Basically the difference is fetch basically uh, return um, the normal data like this will be not in the JSON format and uh, Exios will return basically the JSON format so Exios JSON format return karta hai and uh, here fetch jo ki JSON format return nahi karta hai to hume isme JSON stringify karna padta hai kisi bhi object ko kisi bhi data ko jo is return hota hai correct so <coughs> so अभी के लिए इस इस लेक्चर में हम फेच के बारे में पढ़ेंगे और नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में हम एक्सियोस के बारे में पढ़ेंगे ओके सो ओके सो अब एपीआईज के लिए हम यूज करेंगे सॉरी फॉर दिस हम जेसन प्लेस होल्डर यहां पर हमको सारी रेस्ट एपीआईज मिल जाती हैं डेमो के लिए सो हम यहां से यूज कर सकते हैं लेट्स से अगर हम बात करें फोटोस की तो यहां पर आप देख रहे हो यहां पर हमको सारी चीजें मिल जाएंगी एंड अगर आपको काउंट चाहिए लाइक लिमिट चाहिए कि कितनी लिमिट्स का डेटा वन टाइम में आना चाहिए तो वो भी हम सेट कर सकते हैं बट टाइम बीइंग नाउ वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू डू दिस वी आर गोइंग टू डू इन सब्सिक्वेंट ट्यूटोरियल्स सो लेट जस्ट कॉपी दिस सो यू यू कैन सी वी हैव अ लॉट्स ऑफ डेटा इन दिस राइट so let's do let's do one thing let's just uh, make like this um photos limit let's just put out put limit on this let's say 10 now you can see we are getting only 10 data right so let's just copy this and now we are going to implement this in our native code right so let's say we have a button or we can make the button using touchable opacity right so let's just import from react native touchable opacity touchable opacity and give the style styles dot button correct give the style uh, height will be like uh, for timing just giving the 42 with I'm giving let's say 200 now and uh, just if I contain will be like center Align item, align item will be like center. And now for this button only, align self center, right? Okay. So now you can see on this screen because of it, we have taken the color. No, we have not taken the color. Let get just remove this color entire background color. And let's just put the background color it will be like green correct you can see this is the touchable button right we have so giving the border width here in this let's say 42 correct oh border width not border width border radius will be like 42 you can see like this here so now we are going to apply the text in this 
and uh, full data correct and we are going to apply the styling so if you are just applying the simple or normal style so you can make simple inline styling as well so just I'm going to put the color only it's uh, white only here the symbol you can see this right so what I want uh, if I click on this button then I want to load my data right so now I'm going to so now I'm going to do what whenever I'm uh, when I'm clicking on this button so on press function will fire right so whenever on press function will fire so I'm going to show you alert right yeah hey this is clicked right you can see hey this is clicked is coming right okay now I want to do what I want to make the API call so I'm going to do call a function this dot let's say API handler correct now uh, here only before render I'm going to make my function so if you're uh, making your function as a arrow function you can do one thing more you can just remove these things this will perfectly work let's just check once using alert working you can see like this correct okay now here only I'm going to make the API call so I'm going to do I'm going to use what fetch only here fetch and uh, I want to make the URL first so const URL and providing the URL and uh, We'll get the then promise will we'll get the promise and in that promise we'll get the return response and I'm going to wrap this response into the JSON format and again dot then so now in this response are getting in JSON format right so now I'm going to make the alert for that for this oh sorry right so I'm going to make the alert response of JSON so I want to show you only one thing here uh, using alert just want to show like what data we are getting after clicking on the function after clicking on the next button right pull video button right so where is the url so we don't have any url right now so we have this url i want you use this url let's just uh, check once okay so when you when, whenever you are going to click on the bullet data you will get something like this but uh, i think uh, this is not in the correct format right mm, so what is the problem um, we're getting a multiple of object object format right but here only you can see this is the object this is the object so we are getting all the objects but we are not wrapping here so we need to one thing do one thing json dot stringify okay now when you will click on the button you will get, get the actual data right you can see here so now we are going to what we are going to use the this dot set state just because of we don't have any state here so now we are going to make the constructor this is not mandatory super passing the props this dot state correct so now going to make data array here in this so I will pass my response JSON to the data and here I don't need to make it response 
like uh, json stringify i don't want to use because i don't need here right so so i will get all my response which is already in json format in my data state and i will use this data state here only so i'm going to use the map function so this for using this you need to put the curly braces so i already explained you all the things about the map function and the flat flat list flat list component so agar aapne mera wo video nahi dekha hai then aap chahiye and unko dekhiye main unka link description mein de dunga there are two separate videos for that one is for the flat list one is for the map function so bahut hi acche se explain kiya aap ek bari pad sakte ho then ye aap video continue kar sakte ho okay so i'm going to use the map function so let just destructure the states here this dot state <coughs> here we have a data so we are going to just use the data here data dot map because map function sirf un pe lagta hai jo ki array format hote hain so we'll get item dot index okay we'll get return we'll return something so we can return the ui person as well so the simple ui we have so we can make here only so view and uh, let just uh, put the style here i let's say 42 with let's say 400 just if i content will be like center align item will be like center correct okay and uh, here we can use text and uh, so some data which is coming from the data dot item item dot uh, let's say what we are getting item dot id for timing we can show now you can see we are getting 10 data so we are we have a 10 ids here correct and uh, i think we have a multiple thing in this i think so let's just uh, put this in con and basically console so print log i made but okay no issues so console dot log um let's say some message response after api call response json correct so but before that must ensure agar aap console dot log use kar rahe ho to upar ek file import hoti hai is tarike ki use aap delete kar dein okay let make this code as beautiful code करेक्ट एंड नाउ हम चलते हैं डेबगर के पास वहाँ पर हमें वैल्यूज़ मिलेंगी जब भी हम क्लिक करेंगे इसके ऊपर यस सो वी गिंग टेन डेटा राइट सो वॉट डेटा वी हैव वी हैव आई डी एल्बम आई डी टाइटल यू आर एल थम डेट ओके सो हम क्या यूज़ करेंगे हम अभी के लिए थम यू आर एल यूज़ करेंगे एंड टाइटल यूज़ करेंगे करेक्ट कॉपी okay you can use image tag source image tag import kar dete hain image basically component hai jo ki react native ke package ke itself iske andar hi hai source url item dot thumbnail let's click on this Not getting. Okay, let's get. Give this to the style height. Let's say forty-two, and uh, not forty-two. It should should be fifty, I think. And uh, width will be like four hundred. And uh, here we need to get some eighty-two and some eighty-two like this. 
now i'll click on this so we're not getting any oh we're getting we're getting we're getting so now you can see here we are getting the data right so this this these all you know um the photos we are getting from the you uh, from the api right give this something like 52 let's say yeah so you can see these all are images we are getting from the api correct and uh, and the title we can use so time being we are not using the image we are going to use the title here as well click on this oh yeah we are getting this right one two three four five six seven eight ten right correct yes so now you can see we are getting all the title like you can see the first title this one right you can see this one so yeah guys that's it um, for the fetch api calling and uh, in the next lecture we will discuss on the axios basically hindi mein bolu main agar ki agar matlab isme maine aapko axios ke sorry fetch ke bare mein bataya next video mein axios ke bare mein padhenge and properly samjhenge ki kis tarike se kaam hota hai and also hum slide list mein kaise load more functionality chalate hain jab bhi jaise ki hamare paas stand data ek bar mein aa raha hai and jab hum load more button pe click karte hain ya scroll down karte hain after um threshold ke baad ek threshold fix karte hain threshold fix hone ke baad हम डेटा लोड करते हैं एंड उस स्लाइड लिस्ट में एडिशन करते हैं कॉन्कैटनेट करते हैं तो कैसे फंक्शन चलती है उसको भी पढ़ेंगे सो कीप टच विद अस एंड प्लीज़ डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू सो मच का यू